Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I will be talking about the new feature of uh, UiPath that's coded automation. As you can see on my screen, I have opened the UiPath uh, Studio and you can see here the version of the studio is 2023.6.1. So in case you have the uh, older version, please update it to the latest version in order to use this feature. Now let's get started. So from here, let's create a new process. First of all, before diving into that, coded automation is a feature which allows you to write code in your UiPath Studio. Like you will be directly able to edit and write C Sharp code. Isn't that exciting? Let's get started with that. So let's create a new process. I'll name that process as coded automation. You can name it anything you want. And let me select C Sharp because that's what I like. And over here, uh, it will be creating a working uh, workspace for you as you would have previously doing it for all your XAML files. Similarly, will be doing that. So this is our new process and here you can see if you go new, you'll see all the available options. Oops, now you'll, yeah, you might be uh, thinking, right? I have told you that you'll be uh, with this new latest release, you'll be seeing the coded uh, automation workflow, but you're not able to see that now. Am I fooling you? No, I'm not. There's a catch. So if you, you have to like in order to those, those features like coded automation features are still in the preview mode. So they are enabled only by a setting. So you have to go to this location. I'll, I'll paste this location in the description of this video. And you have to modify this development.json file. You have to modify this development.json file. In development.json file, you have to search for enable coded workflow key and you have to make this as true and save it. Once you do this changes, you'll be able to see the other options here. For that, we need a refresh, right? We, uh, let me close this again and open it again for you. I'm just closing it, UiPath Studio. Let's restart the application. It's loading. Let's open up our previous recently built process. So let me open that up. It takes a while while it creates and loads the workspace. Since we have already created this workspace, it should be sooner. Yeah. So now, boom, you see these three preview options, which were not visible earlier. So coded workflow, coded test case and code source file. So let me click here. Workflow. Let me name it anything. Let it be uh, test workflow. And boom. Now you can see here it's a C sharp class file. You can see here test workflow.cs. It's a extension for C sharp and you can write your code and build your automation with the code. So that's what I wanted to show you. I have created a real video around this. Ask me like they are not getting this option. How to get this option? So the catch here is you have to go to your development.json file and you have to enable this in case you are not able to see it directly after updating the version. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.